Good morning. My name's Mike Lawton, and I'd like to welcome you to Daily Reflections from Christchurch. Today's reading is 1 Corinthians 6, verse 11. And it says, and such were some of you. Now, what it's talking about there is how people were before coming to Jesus. But then he went on to say, but you were washed, you were sanctified, and you were justified in the name of Lord Jesus Christ and by the Spirit of our God. Now, before I develop that, I want to mention three people in the Bible. The first one is David. David was a man of valour. He did wonderful things, and he fought wholeheartedly for Israel and God. But he was a naughty boy. He committed adultery, and he even caused the husband of the woman that he committed adultery with to be killed. And the other man I want to mention is Paul. Now Paul has written many prayers in the Bible and many inspirational um, letters of which one is the verse I, I've read to you. But he too was a naughty boy because admittedly he was following the his beliefs but nonetheless they were misguided he went around killing people who were followers of jesus and then one day on the damascus road jesus met with him and paul realized his mistake and he changed now both those men had different ministries both of those were loved by god what was the difference between them and other people who have perhaps ministries of, of preaching or anything like that? But these were very special. It was their heart. Their heart was totally given over to God. And because of that, God saw their heart and could overlook the other things. And now we come to Jesus. Now, Jesus never did these things that he, he was, um, that these other two did, but he took upon himself the wrongness that the whole world had done. And he made it such that one could be right with God. He died for you and I. And that's where this verse comes in. He said, because that's how we were before coming to Christ, but you were washed and you were sanctified. You were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and by the spirit of our God. That makes you and I special to God. Now, the one thing that those three had in common in their ministries, where the ministries were different, was their prayer lives. David prayed, and you can find those in the Psalms, the wonderful Psalms that he wrote. Paul had wonderful Psalms written in the letters. And Jesus, of course, went about praying before each day and during the day. That was essential. And if Jesus found it essential, I'm sure it's essential for us. Now, I would encourage each one of us in our prayer lives because we may not have opportunities to preach. We may not have opportunities to um, be evangelists or anything like that. But we have opportunities to pray. And prayer changes things. Jesus prayed outside of himself. He didn't just pray for, for other people who were local, for praying their aches and pains or whatever, and healing them. He prayed for bigger things. And that's what we can do. We, of course, intercede for our needs and for others' needs. We, of course, have thanksgiving and praise. But we can, on the, on the foundation of our answered prayers and knowing they've happened in the past, we can pray for bigger things. Have you thought about praying for things in the news and really believing that it changes things? Praying for Ukraine. Now, I believe there have been a lot of prayers for Ukraine, and I personally believe that those prayers are the reason why Putin is held back from doing something that, that God would not want. And so I would encourage each one of us to be people of prayer. If you get opportunities to do other things in the church with your brothers and sisters, fine. But first and foremost, be people of prayer. 
You may not see the answer to those prayers, but God knows. And we know from the scriptures there's a spiritual battle going on why some of those prayers aren't answered, notwithstanding it being God's will. There may be delays, but pray and keep on praying and leave the results to the Lord. And so this verse I would leave with you is you were set washed, you were sanctified, you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and by the Spirit of God. Rejoice in that. Take your seat before the Father and intercede on behalf of things you see and things you hear and things will pray, change. I will pray now. Lord, I pray, I pray that you move upon each one of us by your Holy Spirit and encourage us in our prayer lives, Lord, and grant to us the realization that you not only hear our prayer, but you answer the prayer for the benefit of the whole world, Lord, in accordance with your will. Thank you, Lord, that you're doing this now. Amen. May God bless you and have a good day.